Now, this video is pretty much something that I've wanted to do, and I do it, and then I forget about it, and then I delete it. <laughs> um, and it's always shit tons of comments, even videos, on so many fans that get upset to be on the Skyrim series because they haven't released it. Um, look, I understand. And there's, there's so many different comments, like it's never going to come out, or I'm going to be old by the time it comes out, and blah blah blah, or why don't they release a section by section like Bruma? Well, you know, there's so many reasons to that, and I think the main one is they don't want to, and the second one is that it would be too much entangling when it comes to Quest. I mean, they released Bruma to show that they could do it, okay? and they want to do other... Um, pre-releases to kind of show that they can do that for the other places. And don't get me wrong, I would love that. But the problem with that is, right, is it it, it creates way too much oof, um, more entanglement with quests. So, for example, what we have with Bruma is just the base stuff. But when the full mod comes out, there'll be a lot more quests that will lead us from Bruma to other places across Cyrodiil. But they're not actively, you know, they're not, they weren't developed or they're not yet in the mod because, quite simply, we can't travel to those places. So, if they were to create section by section, they would then have to link those quests from Bruma to, say, Skingrad. We'll say Skingrad comes out next. Um, they'd have to completely keep doing that for every project. You know, they might finally get um, Leowin done after a, you know, a few years. And then they have to link Leowin up to Skingra, up to Bruma. It's just too much fucking around. That would be the problem with such a mod like that. Like, um, like the Temrail Rebuilt does. Now, Temrail Re Rebuilt, it's a similar sort of mod. Um, but it's made for Morrowind. And they release section by section with their mods. So, they've, they've done, they've done um, quite a bit of Skyrim, Home of the Nords. And I think they've released Anvil uh, for Cyrodiil. Now, again, they don't do that, most likely because they want to have you play the full release. They want you to run around Cyrodiil for months. Um, and look, man, at the end of the day, the reason why they don't do this is, is section by section. And the reason why it's taking so goddamn long is because what you have to understand about Beyond Skyrim is, is that... It's not just an ordinary mod. They're pretty much making Skyrim times two. I'm not talking about landmass, I'm talking about quality. They're making triple A quality sort of content for Skyrim that Bethesda doesn't even do with paid goddamn developers. I mean, the shit that they're doing is beyond, you know, understanding that these guys do this for free. And yet they're making content that I dare say pretty much out does Bethesda's quality 10 to 1. Um, that's not a dig at Bethesda, that is a, uh, that's just praise for what they're doing here. I mean, like, this isn't just a mod, this is pretty much a brand new game in Skyrim, allowing you to go to an entirely different country with, you know, like, look at this man, this looks like it was made by Bethesda. You know, this content looks like it was made by Bethesda. And, I don't know if that's an insult to people, since they're a bit slack with some things, <laughs> or, or absolute praise. And they're not just building this entire land masses to make them look like they were part of the Bethesda world, but they're filling them full of quests, voice actors, full of content, even more content than what Bethesda had. I mean, crying out loud, I think every, I think every goddamn province, uh, sorry, um, hold in Skyrim has like two or three villages. Some don't even have one. Yet, what they're doing with this is, for their counties, which are what holds are in Skyrim, they're going to add like 15 to goddamn 20 villages, um, mines, farms, whatever the hell you call it, in between these cities, to make it feel like Cyrodiil isn't just these cities, but they're fleshed out communities with lots of places live in between the major cities. Th th what they're doing is nuts. They're quite simply just nuts. And this isn't some project you can just paint the sand yellow and call it sand. Sorry, you can't paint the snow yellow and call it sand. It's nothing like that at all. It's a complete and utter... Gra I'm going to say it's groundbreaking. To be honest with you, it's, it's going to take us time. It, it's, and it's really going to take us time. Like, these people don't get paid for this. It's in their free time. 
Yeah, it's, it's something they do because they love building, they love creating, and that they love um, the Elder Scrolls. This is why they do it. It's built out of pure passion, and what we can see is like just nuts. Like they're, they're doing a ugh, pretty much. It'll take years, right? Especially some of the projects might take another eight more years. Like say, Valenwood, because that's so far away. Um, and even projects like every, everything else hasn't even got a goddamn pre-release yet. But what you got to understand is that what you're seeing right now. It's made by people who aren't getting paid by Bethesda or anything. They're doing this out of sheer love. The quality of this is, like I said, way more intense than what Bethesda's done with Skyrim. And I mean that. I mean, these guys are doing... Oh, these, these guys are pretty much doing more work than Bethesda did on Skyrim. And I'm not bashing on Bethesda here. Everyone else likes to do that these days. <laughs> but it's just the sheer amount of work they've got the imagination and the scope they've got is nuts, right? They're, build, they're building all of Cyrodiil, they're building all of the other provinces, and they're filling it with actors, you know, NPCs, quests, they're making it feel alive, they're making it feel like it's part of Temrael. You know, you're not just downloading some dude's mod, running in there, and the snow's painted yellow, and they call that sand. Um, this is like a full utter game added onto Skyrim. This is why this is why it's going to take so goddamn long. Yeah, you know, I remember watching this stream of the dude that built this. I'm pretty sure he was like the Fallout 3 um, head cool at the time. I'm not too sure if he still is now, but he he was a Fallout level designer for Fallout 3 Capital Waste. Uh, Fallout 4 Capital Wasteland. And dude, I love this sort of stuff. Like honestly, I can see myself as the gamer. Like Beyond Skyrim is all about atmosphere, right? It's it's, it's when you walk into a certain terrain you're like holy shit I'm not in Skyrim anymore like in Bruma you know you're not in Skyrim anymore you're in Northern Cyrodiil but when you finally walk down the mountain before the, the invisible walls block you off you walk into this like green valley and it's like holy shit dude I'm not in Skyrim anymore that atmosphere change you feel it and and like I'm gonna love this man like I, I imagine I believe Cyrodiil will 100% come out they've put way too much work into it and it's way too far ahead for anyone to cancel I mean these these projects cancel because of leadership going really bad or because people lose interest the modders lose interest in finishing it but with how far this one's ahead and with how much they've done and you know, how close they are I don't imagine the modders are going to want to cancel on you know to, to shut this project down I just don't see that happening with how far they've gotten ahead with this project and if Cyrodiil comes out, you can see a lot of these guys that have pitched into this might actually go in and start helping the other projects out that interest them the most. They might not, but they might. You might have that where a lot of the Cyrodiil team jumps in to help uh, the Three Kingdoms out. You know, and then like, the, the more projects that get completed, the more these modders that can actually spend their time finishing other projects instead of just helping them out with an asset here or there. But I mean, I, I, dude, I just imagine going to Cyrodiil and not going back to Skyrim. I mean, when I've completed my story in Skyrim, if I'm lucky enough at the time, <laughs> um, I just imagine leaving Skyrim and never coming back. Like, just staying in Cyrodiil. Like, forever. Like, it, it's in my head that when, that when this comes out, unless a quest sends me back to Skyrim, I will not go back. I just won't care about it anymore. Yeah, it, it'll be a long distant memory. Cyrodiil will be the place that I spend majority of my game or, or years playing. You know, like it's 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 nuts to think about that. That when I'll be in Skyrim, I won't be ever playing Skyrim. <laughs> it's I'll be in Cyrodiil or on whatever province is done after that. Like it's nuts, man, to have that idea in your head that when you're playing Skyrim, you're not in Skyrim anymore. Like I just hopefully I can spend at least like more than a month without having to go back to Skyrim unless a quest sends me back there and it'll be so good like because we've got all sorts of things out there you've got like Enderil but it's an entirely different game sort of mod um, and all these other like DLC landmass mods they're not big enough to really stay there long enough but you always find yourself coming back to Skyrim because that's all we've got in this current climate and this this project will take some time okay don't lose your shit 
I don't know about the other projects. I don't know how far along they are. You know, it, it all comes down to the motivation of the modders making it. If they lose hope or they lose interest and they leave and they have to get somebody else and they can't get somebody else, the project will die. Or we will go into a slumber. Like Eleanor did. Um, uh, I don't want to get into that one. But it's... Cyrodiil is way too far ahead. I mean, they've built cities and you can see their cities filled with NPCs. Uh, to understand how far along that is, you probably need to be just doing some development work on Bethesda modding or any sort of game development. But that's crazy how far ahead they are with Skingrad. You know, they've got people walking around. They've finished Anvil, and I'm pretty sure currently they're adding NPCs to it, you know, throughout now, last month or two. I mean, to get that far ahead to add NPCs, daily schedules, and stuff like that, is fucking nuts. That's how far ahead they are. And look at the landmass, man. This place looks beautiful. So, I believe Cyrodiil is way too far ahead for its fire to be extinguished. And I think that fire is roaring. Man, it probably going to have to wait a couple of years. It might come out just before, it might come out just after Test 6. But Test 6 is probably going to get review bombed because everyone's turned against Bethesda. And some of it's for good reason, or it's just everyone's a whinging bitch these days when it comes to anything they play. It's just everyone cries about everything that I find. Any, everything that I come across is just people beating the shit of it. because. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, end of the day, this will come out. And this will bring people back to Skyrim, obviously, if there's Test 6. But that's okay, because Test 6 is going to take some time to get off the ground. It, it's going to need modding. It's going to need a lot of stuff. And it's going to be a groundbreaking game, hopefully. But I think Skyrim's where I'm going to end up when it comes to single-player games. It's just, it's freedom. It's it's just your imagination turned into a game, and it's there. You know, modding is like porn. If you can think about it, someone's created it. And especially the porn. Um, <laughs> but... This, 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 this opens up an entirely new genre of modding. You know, the ability to leave Skyrim and come into Cyrodiil, go into Morrowind, go into places we've never explored before. Um, and that is why I think Beyond Skyrim will turn Skyrim's lifetime, even when uh, Test 6 is say out for a couple of years, it will keep it breathing, or keep it alive for a very long time. Anyway, I hope that this video has explained why it's going to take so long. They're doing triple-A quality when it comes to this mod. It's not just a small little modding project. This is complete and utter making a brand new game that's a lot more, I say, it, that, that's, that's, they're putting more effort into it than Bethesda did. They have to. This, is, this, this isn't just some simple small mod. It's triple-A quality. Anyway, just be patient, you know, and know that one day Cyrodiil will come out. And then when Cyrodiil comes out, this will light the fire for more of the people that are working on it to kind of want to jump in and help other projects out. Anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you've learned something about Beyond Skyrim. Um, and yeah, just be patient. It's, you know, you, you've got a life to live. Live that and this will come out one day. I'll see you in the next vid. Look out yourselves.